guys welcome back to my channel if you are new and wondering who this chick my name is Amu and this is Hillary and this is Life Unfiltered my loyal riders thank you for the return the mess drop it in the water let the daughter find an image with the rest she'll be learning how to breathe spinning through identity reveal another pretty little scheme save her mind we're going to make chicken uh this is hard body hard body king besides being hard body guys this is like free range chicken this is the one with the hot bones i get my chickens from a friend of mine who sells them but for now what's all it guys pretty pretty chicken my mother <laughs> so we're gonna make this with pap uh i don't know i don't know if i should do cabbage or do spinach on the side let's Let's figure out. So yeah, that's the chicken I'm, I'm gonna make. I'm really scared of dead. I did my nails. I went to do my nails. I did a, I didn't do my I did, nails. I did white. It's like cotton. And white. I did my nail too. I was just, I was I wasn't feeling the best when I did my nails. Mama, you played like, this paint. Mama, I did paint. You just did. Look, I just painted that chicken. Look, this chicken. This chicken is huge, guys. Look. I scared. You gonna eat it? Yeah. What? You have chicken. No. I thought you liked wash and chicken. You want to take it in your hand? Yeah. Let me take my order. Tea. Is the one. So, let me do my study today. I'm about to And I'm all set up. I'm reading this book. Yes, <laughs> we cannot let the enemy find us sleepy. So I'm reading this book. It's a three in one. The first book is Fasting for Spiritual Breakthrough. The second one is Fasting for Financial Breakthrough. And the other one is the Daniel Fast. And that one is... And I have failed every single time that I've tried to do the Daniel Fast. And that is Daniel Trust me. too. And that one is a Daniel. It's on one. and popping now. Oh, and this is Zuri's Bible. And it's like miniature stories yes. for, for kids. Yeah, it's people probably. <laughs> oh, mommy, really? So mm. so you know. Okay. Okay, mommy, can I read? Okay, go finish watching your stuff and then I'm no. going to call you to go. I'm not trying to you. I'm going to call you to go get the food outside. Isn't it? I'm not vlogging. I'm just going to read. Zula is obsessed with vlogging, guys. He, he, she wants she wants to vlog all the time. If she sees a camera or if I'm doing something on my phone, she just automatically thinks it's vlogging. Or she will remind you to vlog. Yes? Tell them what happened. Power Rangers, what? Oh, is the Power Rangers making you adjust it? Okay, okay girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I wanted to have a chit chat with you guys about what's been happening life lately. And she won't leave me. Do you know what the zombies don't know how to talk? Mm -mm, I didn't know that. Because the zombies don't have great heart. So they need to take the pills. Really, they don't have a great heart? Mm -mm. Okay. So they need to take the planet. So they take the planet mm -hmm. because they don't have a great heart. Do you have a great heart? Yes. <laughs> okay. 
Say bye. Bye. You are the vine. And we are the branches. I can do nothing apart from you. Giver of life, the one to hold on to. I can do nothing apart from you. No, no, you're my lifeline. 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 You're lifeline. Showing forgiveness. Loving your children I can do nothing apart from you No, no Speaking your word And being able to listen I can do nothing apart from you No You're my lifeline You're my lifeline You're my lifeline you're my lifeline, you're my lifeline, you're my lifeline You're my lifeline, you're my lifeline, you're my lifeline Yeah, you're my lifeline, you're my lifeline, you're my lifeline Yeah In you I live and you I give In you I love and can't forgive In you is where my Y'all know my combo by now. Y'all know my combo. During the weekend, I went to zero stop my And my mama. Don't be 
discouraged anymore you find the thing you've been looking for you pick up the pieces of the floor just trust trust it be all right your heart is lonely but it's strong you might be lost now and it's not wrong you'll discover the way even if it feels long just trust trust it be Solely about Bible study at the time. Mama, it's moved. Okay. Should I open for you? Oh, come on. I'm doing. Ah, ah, nah. Yeah, go watch your cook comment. Oh, sorry. TikTok. Um, I started a page. It's been renamed so many times. I've lost count. It's been. Treasures, it's been treasure bupelo, it's been um oh, I forgot what other name it was, but recently I have sort of rebranded. <laughs> um it's now called a mask, healing and hurting. Um obviously just healing the hurt and hurting the call over your life. It's it's like a safe space that I've created for someone like me who is just trying to you know better the quality of their life holistically and looking at just emotional well-being physical mental spiritual um, yeah just holistically and or whatever area it is in your life that you are struggling with um, ah, this is a space and it doesn't like how I'm going to execute it it's not really clear at the moment 
I'm, I'm not an expert I don't know um, a lot of things all I know or all I can share is my experiences and what I've I've learned and what has worked for me and obviously it's not a one-size-fits-all but if what worked for me won't work for the next person so I am at the moment I'm not sure how it's gonna look like and this is something that I have wanted to do for years. Um, I think as a struggling teenager, little backstory. Wow. Um. Okay. I was born, um, obviously, to married uh, parents. My parents were married when I was born and um, family life wasn't the greatest there was a lot of um, a lot of dysfunction I pretty much grew up in a dysfunctional home um, for the most part of my life or fo foundation phase of my life um, my dad was an alcoholic uh, was emotionally verbally um, physically and even financially abusive towards my mom and and uh, my mom finally left my dad when I was seven years old I remember because that's the year I had my my very last birthday party I was seven years old and um, well, my mom took me with the clothes that we were wearing and pretty much, you know, rebuilt her life from the ground up. She did the best that she could. And now I'm trying to look back, when my mom left my dad, let me see, seven years old. Um... My mom was 31. At 31 year old, uprooting her life and her kid from a home that she obviously had hopes of staying in and you know building a, a home and you know. <laughs> I'm trying to think as a 31 year old where I was just mentally and emotionally. And wow, I think it's the first time I'm really <laughs> telling this story. It's not even a story, sharing my my life and fully like in it, not detached from it. Anyway. And as a little kid who had somehow um, developed um, coping mechanism to, to sort of deal with her reality, I pretty much pretended like that man was not my dad, that like, didn't exist. And I think I, I somehow sort of beat myself up for the longest for that. Again, you know, um, it's we have a lot that that we suppress, or they just I think our bodies and our minds, you know, try to protect us, and we suppress a lot of things, and we develop these. Um, these patterns and just ways of living that protect us also uh, from our broken pieces but you know uh, you can't run forever you can't walk around must forever pretending to have it all together and and i did it so well i did that so well to a point where i myself started believing that that I was well and um, 
I think everything just came erupting. It's like the volcano of all the traumas that I was suppressing all these years erupted when I, once when I gave birth. I was forced to deal with every single one of them. And I did not even when I, when I, when I fell pregnant. When I was pregnant, I think realizing just that I'm about to be a mother, you know? And and just what that meant for me, you know? Uh, protecting my kid and how do I, I'm, I'm having a girl and how do I uh, make sure that she doesn't walk the part that I walked or she she's protected from the things that I was exposed to at a very young age and making sure that she grows up a happy, healthy, whole child. I think that's when the anxiety started kicking in and everything just erupted to the surface and just started overflowing and uncontrollably so. And while I'm dealing with my emotions and, and I'm going through a difficult pregnancy, it's you know, hospital uh, admissions, left, right and centre, and grieving my cousin, I'm a really weird. Like, it was just so much all at once. So I needed to do something. So um, eventually, last year, I started therapy. I started therapy and um, and I think even through my therapy session, I had mastered. Okay. I had mastered. Okay. My guna are coming. Um, I had mastered. You know. living an inauthentic life so well that even in therapy I it was like the mask was in therapy and not so much the one behind the mask it was quite staged I feel yes there were certain things that I dealt with but I feel like those were just I personally feel like those were just surface things like you know, control and, and yeah, all the other jazz and bells and silver souls. Um, anyway, I think I'll do a proper video without interruptions this time to talk about these things. I'm just saying this uh, as a little it's a little nudge to say, guys, be kind. Be kind to every single being you encounter. Because you don't know what crosses they bear. Because we are all heavily burdened. Like a remit, there's a lot that we're dealing with. So be kind. And in the same breath, learn to extend the same grace that you give others to yourself. work is important and it is painful and it is an excruciatingly so proper English <laughs> excruciatingly so it is painful it is hard it is texting and draining but the rewards are out of this world stay committed to to bettering yourself and healing what you need to heal you know sit with your broken pieces um, deal with them accept them embrace them um, because you can't expect the next person to be accepting of all of you while well, you are not accepting of yourself and fully so so yeah I guess this is why I started or renamed <laughs> my passion project. It's a digital journal, pretty much. 
and last do follow me on instagram everything will be linked on the description box and um, yeah this is the slump i guess i have been going through i'm not quite sure what triggered me uh, or maybe i'm still trying to maneuver my way to the answer it's a little heavy right now and my brain is kind of convincing me that it's not there but i'm 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 doing the work so yeah the panic attacks and all those things i will push through i will fasten my belt i will strengthen my prayer life i am going to thrive in this life because god said he will give us life and life in abundance and life in abundance does not mean we will be held bondage by things that are not from him so yeah later What are you doing, girl? Nothing. Are you done with my feet? No, you forgot here. Okay. I'm just doing here. I'm almost done. Okay. Mm -hmm. You need to do me. You need to do me. You need to do me. Mama, can mm -hmm. you fill this for me? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Did you finish your chocolate? Hmm? Did you finish your chocolate? Yes. Yes. Oh my goodness, guys, I am so exhausted. I am tired. But I didn't sleep well last night, so that's why. I Um she is massaging me. I am cooking, but I'm cooking chicken. Hard boat. So it takes a chicken. while. Chicken. We cooking chicken because I'm shopping. Mama can shop. I need to wash something. Oh, but home. <laughs> YouTube episode is heartening. But anyway, I'm doing the vlog stuff because I enjoy I enjoy it so um can you kill it for me? Okay. Okay. Done. Thank you. You're welcome. My is my leg broken? No. Why is it like that on the corner on the side? I don't know. What is this? Mama, your bone is broken. So let me use this moment to say, guys, okay, go back and go back and subscribe into my channel. Please subscribe, like, watch my videos. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers before the end of the year. <laughs> Too ambitious, I know. But I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Um Mama, by the end of the Mama, year and the 4,000 watch time so dear, Mama, dear, I will tell you Mama your skin must be 
because I don't want them to get me. Okay. So, okay, go back to the guys. Go back to my videos. Like, what is 92? 92 views. What is 30 views? One dream. Tagama. Tagaba. Okay, go back to the guys. Go back to the guys. Go back to the guys. Perfect. So I'm going to try. I have today. I want to have a to do anything. I just did a little. Mama. Mama. I want to put one thing in your whole body. On my whole body, girl. Mm, because I want you to be keen, and I don't want germs at you. You don't want germs at me. Mm, because when you get germs at you. When you don't wash your hands, when you don't wash your hands when you eat, oh. your hands are going to be dirty. Really? Mm. So you must wash your hands when you eat. Wow. That's why, so I don't want you to get germs at you. Mama, is that nice? I love it. And are you boring? No, I'm a boy. Are you adjusted? No. What do you say to you is adjusted? Uh oh. My exhaustion is exhausted. <laughs> You call me out upon the waters, the great unknown, where feet may fail. And there I find you in the mysteries and oceans deep, my faith will stand. So I will call upon your name and keep my eyes above the rains. When oceans rise, my soul will rest in your embrace. For I am yours, and you are. 